Hey y'all, it's Chris from Meats, Beets, and Bubbles. And today I'm doing something a little bit different than the Meats, Beets, or the Bubbles. Well, you could say it's Bubbles, but as in like pampering bubbles, like bubble bath. But uh, um, I just want to tell you about a product that my daughter, who works at um, Ulta, I was telling her, I don't like to do nail polish or get manicures because I'm so hard on my hands. And she says, Mom, you gotta try this. This is a really great product and you will love it, I think. So she started me on these things. It's called uh, Dashing Diva. And it's like a gloss and they're like stickers. They're uh, like a gel. They you know have several um, different sizes in there. So you're bound to find them to fit your nails. I haven't had an issue. They have um, some sparkly ones and then they have some pattern ones. So you could do a really fun uh, manicure at home for yourself. And I think they're like $7, $8, something like that. So, um, so anyhow, thank you, Hannah, for turning me on to these. I'm so excited. I'm going to do this one later and I will show you how to do it. It's so so easy and the other thing is too is i find my nails grow longer because they're protected with that extra layer but the best part guys is i'm not one for wanting christmas presents early but hannah couldn't wait and there's a reason why she brought me this home yesterday from work so ready drum roll all right here we go it's an advent calendar for Dashing Diva. So she's so excited, wants me to open it, and I do too. So I'm gonna open it, and here we go. Now I'm behind, I think it's the 6th of December, so I get to open six days. Isn't that exciting? All right, so day one, we cheated yesterday. We opened the first one. So day one, look at this. This looks like it is, and I don't think they tell you what's behind them. Let's see. Nope, but that's the instructions there. So so day one, it looks like, is a full set, and they look like they're um, black in color. So I can add these into other sets I have. So day one, full set. Woo-woo. All right, where's day two? Day two, where are you? Where'd you go, day two? Um, here we are, down here. Probably be easier if it was like right in order, but that wouldn't be as much fun. Okay. All right. Day two. Let's see. Let's get this thing out of here. Oh, woo. Little tweezers. All right. I'm going to put this up on my coffee cup. All right. So some little tweezers in day two, and they seem to be pretty good. So that's good because I can keep those now with my nail stuff. And then I'll always have them because they are handy sometimes to stick them on um, and placing them just right. All right, day three, right here. Here we go, ready? All right, day three. They're a little bit tricky to get out. Ooh, some leopard print ones, just a few, just to put them you know, in between and to add it. Those would go really good with the black ones, guys. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna be styling. I'm gonna be so fashionable, you won't recognize me. All right, day four. There we go, number four. Oh, looks like another one here. Little, oh, I like these. Just some little sparkly ones. Ooh, those would be good. I, I, you may not be able to see them so well. Um, those would be good for New Year's Eve. Although, probably won't be going anywhere, but still. <laughs> Girls gotta have a little bling. All right, day five. Where are you, day five? Here we go. Okay. All right, day five. Oh, nice. Another, looks like probably full set with these ones, but they're like kind of a wine or a burgundy color. So fun. And they give you um, a nice little file in with there too. So, uh, cause you need those to file the ends off cause they make them um, a little bit long. So to, to match more people. Uh, let's see, day five. Oh, now we're gonna be current. We're gonna hit number six down here again. And let's see. Oh, that's a long one. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. 
Oh, nice. It is, and I've not seen this in a tube. It is nourishing cuticle oil. Oh yeah, because you do, that is one thing you want to do, is you do want to um, push your cuticles back. So you want to push those back so you can put them on as uh, uh, close to your cuticle as possible. And then you'll smooth out and file off the end of the, the nail. So you'll make them nice and smooth if your nails are even still a little rough. So excellent. So tweezers and cuticle oil. And so it's not all about the nails, you guys. Um, so anyway... That is up to speed, day six. Now I gotta wait till tomorrow wah, 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 to open. Um, so I'll be excited. This is gonna really be something fun for me to open every day. And I wanna finish my coffee. You guys know me, you know I love snowmen. So it just makes my coffee taste better. All right, I will uh, put the nails on in just a bit. All right guys, you're just gonna get to hear me, not see me. So I went ahead and opened the box. It's taped up really well, so you don't have to worry about that, you know, it falling apart if you want to travel with them or whatever. So then they come in this little plastic clamshell, um, and, and it does keep in there. So if you have extras, that's a great place to store it. So you get some glittery ones and some other decorative ones in there. And uh, then you get a couple of extras, I think, uh, for your thumb. And um, then uh, these are the, the standard ones. So you just kind of pick out whatever size, figure out which ones you want to do where. Um, I did, this came in my uh, um, advent calendar that Hannah got me. And this was the uh, nourishing uh, cuticle oil. And this is really cool because it comes with as a little roller ball. Uh, and I thought that was great because it just kind of went where you put it and stayed there. So I pushed my cuticles back um, with this, uh, which I got in my um, advent calendar. I also got some great tweezers so I can keep these all together and some little scissors. Because honestly, sometimes I've reused um, the nails and they don't fit <laughs> exactly right. And uh, so uh, that'll be nice to have that to um, uh, be able to cut them up if I need them. This is the uh, prep pad. Uh, it's just a, a one-time deal. Um, you could just probably use uh, rubbing alcohol or you could use um, probably nail polish remover. Just want to make sure that you get all of the um, oils and stuff off your hand so that your nails will stick um, because otherwise they're going to lift up and you're going to have trouble with them staying on. I have not had that trouble. Um, so um, usually what happens is I, I'm too hard on, on my nails and the ends of them will start to come off. And um, once that happens, you just I just file them back and they stay. Here's the instructions. Um, you probably just need it for the first time you do them. And other than that... Um, they're super, super easy. It also comes with a little nail file, which is great. Um, it's, it's worked for what I've needed it. I've saved one or two. Sometimes I throw one in my purse or the car just in case. And um, it seems to be pretty, pretty good quality for it coming with the kit. So here's where you just kind of figure out what you want to put on. And I think um, I'm just going to do this uh, one here on my thumb so um you can see there's a little bit wider base here at the one end um and then it's a narrower so the wider base part of it will go towards your cuticle and i haven't used these i've usually just used my fingers but i'm going to give these pliers a go so they um i've had to kind of take them off and put them on before so uh, it works it does uh, they do come off a few times and go back on so you just want to kind of get it as close to your cuticle as possible and then you can kind of put it down there and see and it looks like I'm just going to use my fingers because I feel a little more proficient that way and then just kind of I usually go from the middle out you don't want any air in there. 
And I'm actually going to use this to kind of get in there and make sure I've got it kind of tucked in where I got kind of a fat thumb, I know. Um, right in between where your um, the fleshy part is and the side. And I know I'm sure that's super technical. And then I find the best is just, just to get this uh, rubbed on with my thumb. And I just kind of press down as much as I can. I've never really done the white ones before, but I think it's kind of a, a snowy theme. And then when it comes to this part here, I'll, I'll just see if I can do that, get all the air out. Um, and then I just kind of fold it over and then I take the file and kind of go around to break off that extra length. And at this time, this is where I'll smooth out my nail. So I know before I said, don't worry if you your nails aren't perfectly smooth before you start because this is the opportunity where you can get to shape them a little bit. So um, hopefully you, you're you're getting the feel for here what's what's going on and what's happening. Um, all right, and I just take it and smooth down the top so it doesn't have anything that it's gonna catch them. So there is my thumbnail. Hope you get a good look at that. I'm usually not proficient when I'm doing my nails. Cooking is uh, much better for me. So now we want to figure out um, what we want to do. I want to really have some fun here. So I want to get probably more of the festive nails than um, the plain ones for this time. So I think what I will do is I think I will go with this one here for my pointer finger. And again, I think just kind of lifting it up. And I think I'm just going for my fingers because that seems to be what I'm most comfortable with. So I like to hold it by the end because generally you're not going to be using that part anyway on your nail unless you have super long nails and good for you if you do. So just kind of get it there and press it down and then you can pull your fingers away. And again, it's just simply, I like to just smooth it out with my thumb. I will use this to kind of, I think that's going to be really key for me, is to be able to get this part pressed down as good as I can in there. Sometimes my my fingers don't, don't want to work that well on that part. So... And again, it's just, I kind of press, 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 press. And then I fold this over and hold it down. And then I will take this and get it to break away. And then I can pull it off. I usually just want to make sure it's completely kind of broken off there and then uh, then I can come back and put press it down anymore if it looks like it's lifted away I mean they're they're uh, pretty forgiving and then I'll come back and and fix it here and I don't think you guys really want to watch me to go through both hands all ten fingers so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this on and then I will uh, show you. So let me go and take care of that. And I'll come back and show you the final, final piece de resistance. All right, I'm getting the last one shaped here. And voila. All right, guys, here they are. Did the thumbs the same? Some of these I did the same. Um, some of them are a little bit different. These two are different. Um, one is the, uh, the shiny one here. Let's see, maybe this is a better view here. So I feel like I'm getting a little bit of glare, but 
Anyway, these are so festive and so fun. I love them. I don't know if I mentioned that they are actually a gloss. So when you feel them, they feel super smooth and as if you did like a gel, a gel nail polish or went and got a manicure. And these are so much fun. One of the things I love best is I could sit down like at nine at night when I am, um, yeah, I'll talk to you, uh, when I'm just relaxing uh, in front of the TV and I could simply just do them right then. And the thing is with, it's not nail polish, so I don't have to worry about like messing up my manicure or whatever when I've just done it with regular nail polish. So that is one of the things I really like. I like that now I've got some some extras here that I just kind of can keep and I can make uh, my own set um, for, for the future. So just to add a little fun sparkle festivity. Um, I did like this tool for doing my cuticles and helping to press it down. The tweezers, eh, I don't know. I felt like my fingers, I had better control. Um, the scissors, I will absolutely love when I want to use one, but it doesn't act actually fit that nail, so I can kind of clip. They were very sharp, and they're very pointy, so that'll be good for that. And you can also get into those areas where maybe the nail is just a touch too big so you could get in there and clip off that little excess. You could probably clip off the extra nail instead of filing it too. The one thing I did find with the um, cuticle oil is when I put it on before, I thought, oh, the prep pad would take it off because it's alcohol. Well, I found that the um, nails didn't want to stick after using that. So I will definitely use this product. I liked it. But I won't use it probably while I have my nails on because it does say on there you can use it to help remove um, the nails. So um, I'm thinking that it's just uh, the oil is enough to kind of counteract with the glue on there. Um, they are, once you place them, they stay. But you can also lift them up and, and move them if you need to shift them just a bit. And then so far in my advent calendar, I got this, um, well, I got the other stuff I already showed you, and then I got this clear gel. I got to figure out for that if I can use that in conjunction with these or if I just, that would just be for other days. So I got, let's see, one, two, three full sets. I got some little accent ones here, leopard, and I got some like a bronze and a silver, and these ones are just like big glittery ones. Uh, looks like they kind of are iridescent too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, it is uh, what, I think it's the 13th today, 13th or the 14th, I can't remember. So I have a few more days of fun, but anyway, this has been one of my funnest advent calendars ever. So thank you again, my lovely Hannah. Now, I'm going to go have some lunch, and uh, you'll find that on the blog at Meats, Beats, and Bubbles. Um, you'll find me on YouTube, as well as this video, and it's Meats, Beats, and Bubbles. So you can find the blog, uh, well, like I said, MeatsBeatsAndBubbles.com, on Facebook under the same, and Instagram as well. And I do have a Pinterest, so if you guys are looking for a place you want to just pin those recipes... Um, instead of uh, printing them out or whatever, you can go on there. I've got a Pinterest as well. So uh, subscribe and like and put your comments in there, guys. I love the comments. I love to read them. I love to respond. I'm always open to some uh, tips, um, suggestions. Uh, tell me if you bought these and you like them. I think the normal price is like $7, maybe $8 with the, the tax and all. It's a really good value when you think about what you go for a manicure or a pedicure. And if it's like you don't have time to go get one or you're sick or whatever, it's definitely well worth it just to grab a set and play and have fun. Uh, so until next time, guys, enjoy your day and go get a manicure, pedicure, or do it yourself. See you later. Bye-bye.